I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. We're here to question Lawrence. Bump him up on the suspect list, or cross him off entirely. Okay. What is it? I just... I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mundy's, maybe. But this is different. Lawrence, you in there? Hey! Hey! All right, we'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Come on, help me up. dead. We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? I don't know, Snow. through the chair. The mirror showed me this. It's sharp, and there's blood on the blade. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? sleeping pills. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. It matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. Peaceful, do they? I wouldn't know. Oh, 
Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. Oh my god, Rigby, he's alive! What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. What are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? What happened? I don't know. I... Oh, shit. I shot myself in the heart. I oh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. Probably had a lung. Great. Uh, at least that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away, but she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down, she deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. I'm sorry to inform you that your wife has been killed. No. No. No, no, no. I knew this would happen. No, I'm sorry. I am. But I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Fuck, Georgie! Lawrence, I, uh... Do you...? Are you expecting anyone? See who it is. No, wait. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about your wife. Give me back the gun, just in case.
Hey! Stay here! No! Hey! Stop! Leave me alone! Ease up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You... son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why... <coughs> did you run? Uh, what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who are you, exactly? I'm D, and I'm a private investigator. There's a business card in my shirt pocket. You can see for yourself. This is for a sandwich shop. Really? Huh. Must have run out. Who hired you? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No. I'm D. He's dumb. He almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad, see if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in a day. I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> all right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> B! 
Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. It wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. Are you sure there wasn't anyone here? Uh, not that I saw. <laughs> and if there was, they didn't take nothing. So, you know... All's well it ends. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could, perhaps, let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Your lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. And the lamps broke, too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off a table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. You know, with this place, it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap, it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. Move something? What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? If you're gonna say something, out with it! That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you- It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. Uh, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Some marks here on the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plumb forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. You heard uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? 
Okay, Sheriff. Now what? But you wouldn't need keys, since the lock's broken, so... Why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. What happened here? The poker? What of it? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Did this happen before or after you came in the window? After, after. Oh, I was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mothering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Pokes have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> And a frog. I've really been meaning to clean the place. There's more blood over here. Oh? Really? Yeah, still fresh. Well, like I told you, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? Wait, you cut your hand? You told me before that you cut your foot. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? You say to my face that you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had the go of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When I figure out what's going on here, Toad. You can help the process along, you know. How? How am I gonna help the process along? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You wanna tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me. I don't think... Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Damodee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. 
who come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Bigby? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know, someone who will know where to find it. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way.